First time I've been out in a couple of days. Since my son got sick, I got sick. Jesus. Cheers. Today I want to talk to you about <clears throat> oh shit. Gov UK. It's a very interesting public service from the United Kingdom. And, you know, unlike here in Singapore where they make an app for everything, their their web pages, their forms are very usable on mobile. This knife is good at cutting up a, a baguette, but it's pretty damn poor as a butter knife. Good morning. I remember spending an incredible amount of time implementing a progress bar in my first little job. Don't bother. His advice is correct. Tom, you're all right. The thing that really impresses me is their performance and metrics dashboard here, which unfortunately is being deprecated from the 15th of March. So in five days time. And I can't find these performance metrics on data.gov.uk. So I thought I'd just make a video now to sort of capture the zeitgeist of what was here. Some of the things that they measure is cost per transaction, user satisfaction, completion. Completion rate is is something I find remarkable because a lot of forms aren't measured whether they're completed or not. Digital take-up means whether people have been using the digital uh, process as opposed to the paper forms. So these metrics are just amazing to me. I've never seen any other company do this you can get some extra information. I don't know what's going to happen to this web page. It'd be sad if it all goes away. Now, they have these public service dashboards, which I find fascinating. For example, this is quite interesting. It just shows you how many times the form has been, has been done. But when you actually click into it to see those like completion rate statistics, um, which is down here, 0.4%. That's shockingly low. And I queried this with one of my friends, and he seemed to think that people are using the form to work out if their car is taxed before they complete it or something like that. So they're using it. Part of the form is used has some sort of query, and people are using that without, without uh, completing the rest of the, the steps of the form. Nonetheless, the fact that they publish this is just amazing to me. The devil's in the details as ever. If you do look at all the other services, you'll notice that there is a bunch of omissions. In fact, you know, the more you look around, the more you kind of notice that. I mean, no doubt there's been some great intentions here, some great vision, but a lot of the stuff is not filled in or has kind of... Um, you know, dubious statistics. And I really hope that they, I don't know, improve on this instead of just trying to get rid of it because what's the what's the adage? You cannot build what you can't measure. So in my opinion, GovUK have really gone out on a limb here trying to do things right. Um, but they haven't obviously quite got there. And the fact that they're deprecating this um, worries me a lot. Because I want to see something like this going into the future. If you know someone so, or some company uh, or some government that is producing uh, public service dashboards like this, please let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested in this stuff. I also really like this cost per, per transaction metric. I've never seen this before. That's insane. Just imagine having like an AWS account and seeing the uh, the cost of that to run a particular service. So as a taxpayer, you know how, how the government is spending your money to do certain processes. That would be amazing. Please like the video. Comment below. Bye.